Okay, story time. So a few weeks back, we posted a video on Instagram, which you can find if you're willing to scroll through countless posts featuring birds and Matilda looking silly. Anyway, the video in question was of cutting old classical guitar strings before restringing, but recording it in slow-mo so you get these awesome sounds that we figured some folks would appreciate. However, appreciate it, some folks certainly did not. I've never felt more pain in my life. How could you do this to that poor guitar? <laughs> Another commenter seems certain that we were doing damage to the truss rod and that we should first lose in the strings and remove the pins. Firstly, sweetie, classical guitars don't have pins. Secondly, the strings were slightly loosened. And thirdly, I, I believe guitar necks are a fair bit stronger than you think. Maybe if we ramped up the tension and macheted all the strings at once, we'd have some problems. Otherwise, I think we good. We stayed out of it, but many commenters jumped to our aid, insults were flung, accusations were made, it got pretty nasty. So at this point, we nuked the thread. Anyway, alleged mistreatment of musical instruments seems to be yet another of the internet's many touchy subjects. So we're going to lean into this niche. We have a Yamaha GL1 Gitter Lady, and we're going to make some ill-advised amateur modifications and hopefully annoy some internet pedants in the process. Join us, won't you? So here's the deal, man. We want to extend the player's semitonal reach by adding another treble string. So, after finding an appropriate workspace, we figured out how much extra space we can get out of a 47.5mm neck. Uh, that looks doable. Mark it out. File that sucker. Okay, first slot nailed. Now we do the same to the other side, eyeball the middle and give that the same treatment. The other slots were a bit trickier, but through a combination of eyeballing, marking and half assed mathematics, we managed to get them basically, um... Uh... Ah, equidistant. Okay, phase two. Daddy needs a new tuning peg. One of these puppies will do, so we're going to mark out where that'll be bunged right around here. Jappy, jappy. How's this drill bit? Oof, not ideal on a couple of levels, but close enough! Ah, I'm allowed to drink, but you're not, because you've got to operate the drill. So fire her up, and don't forget your safety spectacles. Drilly, drilly, drilly. Pew, pew, pew! Oh no, our thing is not long enough, so we're unable to screw. Time for Mr. Chisel to earn his keep. And... Uh, su success! Thread him through, tighten him up. Nice. We'll add a little loop here to bring the string into alignment, so let's very carefully... Much better. Phase three, minor leave dumpster diving. We fish our discarded low E out of the trash and clean off the dead skin and general smuts with... Can you use coke? Probably right over the copper. We'll come back in a little bit and see. Two hours later! Okay, fairly minimal results, but whatever. Anyway, we can't thread it on yet because we've got some more to drill and some more holes. Chapter five. Daddy needs his holes drilled. Basically the same as we did on the top, but this time holes instead of slots. Oh, that rhymed. Problem is, yet again, our apparatus isn't long enough, so we weld an extension on so we can angle the holes appropriately. We chuck it in a power drill and drill ourselves silly. We do a little sharpie staining to cover our workings, string her back up. She's looking mighty good, but oh, balls up! The hand keeps musing the treble string. Maybe we did bring it a little bit too close to the... No! Never admit when you're wrong, especially when you can simply weld, mold, smooth, and fix a custom resin bumper to the side of the fretboard. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So much so that I'm going to need a few hours alone with it. Whatever you hear, do not enter this room. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, finished. I give you the Yamadab GL7. Very nice looking thing, but is it playable? <laughs> is it? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so here's a little song that we wrote for all of you that are feeling a little blue during lockdown. Uh, press, press play, would you? Thank you. The country's still on lockdown. We've all been stuck in doors. The novelty is over and I'm getting effing bored. I got those locked down, got those locked down blues. People losing faith in leaders, getting wound up by the news. We bought ourselves a jump rope to keep our figure trim. We're getting pretty deadly, but it doesn't beat the gym. I got those locked down. Got those lockdown blues And there ain't nothing Nothing anyone can do 
I'm just going to the movies and hanging out with friends. I'm feeling sad and lonely, wishing quarantine will end, but I'm not alone. These ain't just my views. Yes, everybody got them a lockdown blue. Yes, indeed, folks. If you're feeling lonely, know that you're not alone. Also, if you're feeling smothered by family members you're isolating with, those are natural feelings too. (laughs) I think if Matilda could talk, she'd have a few choice words to say about my company. But on the whole, (laughs) we're getting on just fine. Matilda, okay, that's nice. Yes, you can let me go any time. 